was a unique entrepreneur, a, a very unique American entrepreneur. I want to point out he wasn't a software engineer. He he um, he wasn't. He was not trained in business. He wasn't trained in marketing, but he had all of those in, innate kind of skills. Steve always had this just persistence, nagging um, uh, drive that you see in very unique people that can do it and probably sustain it 24 hours a day. If anything, Steve burned himself out uh, doing this. You know, he sort of gave his life to it. And I think that, that people in the world saw the fruits and the merits of it. At the time when, when Apple started, uh, it, it was a time when American consumer electronics had vanished from our shores. It had gone to the Far East. And along comes this little company, these two young um, uh, you know, kids next door, if you will, who started this company and started building it into very rapidly into a billion dollar company. And, um, and Steve went through, I, I think within, in, in the public's eye, he went through ups and downs. But, you know, f from the standpoint that he came into Apple, he seemed like he had the world by the tail and then suddenly he's out of Apple. When John Scully surveyed the room as to what Steve should or shouldn't do, I think Bill Campbell and I were the two. We didn't necessarily defend Steve's management style, but we certainly thought he should stay with the company. Um, and uh, when he left, I think it was pretty traumatic. Apple was talking about a lawsuit, and, um, and um, I had enough conversation and confidence of the management staff at that time to sort of talk with uh, John Scully and the other people at Apple as well as to say look I'm gonna talk to Steve and I told him that I thought that um, he should uh, sort of hold off and 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 um, not form his next company for about six months and, and and just avoid any kind of public lawsuit you know his impetuous nature he had a hard time holding back on this and he had already I think committed to to, to people he was willing to risk uh, Apple's lawsuit, which I, I'm sure could have slowed him down substantially. We had a conversation which, which I took notes on, uh, and it was that Steve was, was saying, look, um, maybe I could do be of, of some help to Apple. I may start a product line in which they'd, they, that would enhance their product lines, and they'd want to acquire us. Of course, we know that a decade later, um, Apple did acquire Next, and it did help them with, <laughs> with their operating system, and it became an integral part of their, their new technologies. And so uh, that prescient kind of uh, activity, I think, was always, and going back and looking at my notes and then looking at what really came about is, uh, is, 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 is really a, a, put a big smile on my face. I always sort of joke about Steve being my uh, my computer tech. He would come over and he would jiggle things around and fix on things and, and get it back working for me. When Apple came out with the uh, the first iMac, you know, the color, the multicolor bubbles, we have five grandchildren and, uh, and I bought uh, each of them one of those for Christmas. Molly, who was uh, now a sophomore in college, uh, was five years old. She got hers and she played with it all day and and it broke. The uh, dealer said that it was Apple's policy not to simply swap computers back on, a, on one that had a, a problem, that it would take Apple's approval to do this, and that would probably take two or three weeks. So I sent an email to Steve, and um, I didn't tell him what the problem was. I just asked him if this was Apple's policy. And within, literally within half a minute, <laughs> the phone rang, and I uh, picked it up, and it was Steve. And he asked me what the problem was, and I told him, and he asked me the name of the dealer, and he said he'd call me right back. Well, the phone did ring at about 10 minutes later, and it was the dealer asking me to have my daughter come up and get her new computer. So I sent an email to Steve and said, Steve, uh, I th you know, thanked him and said, you know, you made Molly's, five-year-old Molly's Christmas, and uh, you were a great Santa Claus. And he came back with just the word ho, 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 and a little smiley face. And so um, that, I think, is uh, the way at least me and my family see Steve. To me, he was just a, a good friend and a wonderful person to chat with or just to want. He would continue over the years to call, call here on weekends and just to talk. And I think uh, those are the kinds of things that, uh, that I will miss.